They berated him with vile epithets for marrying a 97-year-old woman, years later, they were filled with remorse, in a tranquil countryside abode, young Robert resided with his parents, amidst love and joy, his father proposed a seaside vacation to alleviate the strains of his demanding job and uplift their spirits, little did they know, fate had divergent plans, packing their belongings eagerly. They embarked on their journey, after settling in their beachfront accommodation, they frolicked. Along the shore, unbeknownst to them, tragedy loomed, while Robert reveled in the sand with his father, his mother ventured into the turbulent sea, lacking proficient swimming skills, she succumbed to the relentless waves, her desperate cries unheard. Alarmed by his wife's absence, the father frantically searched, leaving Robert under strict instructions, his heart shattered upon discovering her lifeless form in the unforgiving waters. The haunting sight etched deeply into Robert's psyche, his anguished wails echoing, struggling to maintain composure for his son's sake, the father masked his grief, though the pain gnawed relentlessly, days passed, marked by inconsolable sorrow and futile searches for solace, Robert's relentless mourning cast a pall over their once happy home, in his desolation, the father contemplated remarrying to ensure Robert's care amidst their shared despair, he confided in Robert about his intention to marry a woman named Sophia, assuring him of her care. Initially, Sophia displayed affection and tenderness in her husband's presence, but behind his back, her demeanor towards Robert turned harsh and abusive, despite Robert's complaints to his father, his pleas fell on deaf ears, years dragged on, and Robert matured into a resilient young man, unable to endure his stepmother's cruelty any longer, he resolved to escape to the city in pursuit of education and employment. Though lacking sufficient funds, he preferred independence over enduring his father and stepmother's disdain in the city, Robert pursued studies in nursing, relishing the solitude of his own company, amidst his college life, he developed a deep admiration for a girl named Anita, however, Anita, driven by materialistic desires, rejected Robert upon learning of his modest means, citing social and financial disparities devastated by Anita's rejection. Robert vowed to shun love altogether, harboring bitterness towards women whom he perceived as shallow and conceited, he dedicated himself solely to his nursing studies, graduating and eventually securing a job at a hospital. One fateful day, Robert was summoned to a coffee shop to attend to an ailing elderly woman in need. The old woman was swiftly transported to the hospital, where Robert diligently attended to her needs. Grateful for his care, she expressed her heartfelt appreciation. Acknowledging his kindness and dedication in nursing her back to health, Robert humbly replied that it was his duty to ensure her well-being, expressing his gratitude for the opportunity to assist her, named Isabella, the elderly woman had lived a solitary existence, haunted by past betrayals that left her emotionally scarred, despite her advanced age, she maintained remarkable health and self-sufficiency, tending to household chores and prioritizing her well-being with regular medical checkups, her isolation weighed heavily on her, and the brief respite of companionship during her hospital stay left a profound impact on her, Robert found solace in Isabella's company, drawn to her warmth and genuine kindness reminiscent of his beloved mother, her gentle demeanor and compassionate treatment touched him deeply, evoking memories of familial love long cherished in his heart. Returning home, Isabella grappled with renewed loneliness, yearning for the fleeting connection she felt in the hospital, sensing a mutual bond forming. She reached out to Robert, inviting him to her home, overwhelmed with joy at her gesture. Robert eagerly accepted, bringing along medications and a bounty of fresh produce as a token of care. In that moment, amidst the exchange of medicine and conversation, a tender connection blossomed between them, offering solace and companionship in the midst of life's trials. Overjoyed by his visit, Isabella warmly welcomed Robert into her home, where they engaged in heartfelt conversation. Sharing their experiences of loneliness and despair, Robert confided in Isabella about the profound void he Felt since his mother's passing and the pain of rejection he endured from a past love, he expressed his resolve to live in solitude, despite the agonizing loneliness that weighed heavily upon him. Moved by Robert's vulnerability, Isabella empathized with his struggles, acknowledging the depth of his care and tenderness towards her during her time of need, sensing a connection that transcended mere companionship. She gently remarked on the resemblance he saw between her and his late mother, a sentiment she too had felt, encouraged by their mutual understanding and affection, 
Robert seized the moment to express his deepest desires, with trembling sincerity, he proposed marriage, envisioning a future where they could find solace and happiness in each other's company, alleviating the burden of loneliness they both bore. Despite her initial hesitation, Isabella voiced concerns about societal judgment regarding their age difference, yet, Robert remained resolute, prioritizing their mutual well-being and happiness above societal norms, with unwavering determination, he affirmed his commitment to their union, regardless of external opinions. Following their heartfelt exchange of vows, Robert boldly confronted societal expectations, unapologetically embracing their unconventional love. He proudly shared the news of their marriage with friends, undeterred by any judgment that may come their way, in the end. Their bond proved stronger than the whispers of society, when they embarked. On a journey of companionship and love, united against the shadows of loneliness that once plagued them, upon learning of Robert's marriage to Isabella, some mocked him while others accused him of deceiving her, however, Robert soon uncovered a surprising and pivotal truth, Isabella was exceptionally wealthy, a fact she had purposely withheld before their union to test his sincerity, to his relief and pride. Robert realized that his love for Isabella transcended material wealth, he cherished her. For the kind-hearted woman she was, embracing their newfound happiness, Robert and Isabella basked in the warmth of their love, sharing their joyous moments on social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram, their genuine bond and affectionate snapshots garnered widespread admiration, transforming them into beloved figures in the online community when their love story captured the hearts of many. Those who once ridiculed them found themselves regretting their actions, Robert and Isabella's journey served like a poignant reminder that true love knows no boundaries, whether of age or wealth, their blissful union stood as a testament to the power of love and the insignificance of societal judgments. In the end, Robert and Isabella lived out their days in contentment, their story serving as a beacon of hope and inspiration for all who believed in the transformative power of love, their tale imparted valuable lessons, reminding us to embrace love wholeheartedly and to disregard them. Opinions of others when it comes to matters of the heart, that's all about the first story and now let's watch another similar story, the laughter that echoed when she wedded an elderly black man reverberated two years later with regret, many worldwide claimed she married him solely for his wealth, yet soon discovered her profound love for him, a netizen commented that sans his wealth, he wouldn't stand a chance with such a beauty, several others mocked her choice, but all swiftly grasped that. Love transcends age, while evidenced by the 63-year-old governor who lost his wife, Clara, to cancer in December 2010, having come to the realization that passing judgment on his late wife was pointless, he voiced a desire to avoid dealing with the subject, in the event that a man is elected to the office of governor or state president, his wife's rank is automatically promoted to that of first lady which is a highly regarded title that is accompanied by a great deal of lavishness. He fondly recalled Clara, who was well versed in the ins and outs of police stations in Kaduna and beyond, and who frequently went in search of her husband, who was detained as a result of his work for the union, there were times when she referred to her spouse as a absent husband, because of the unpredictability of his whereabouts, she tolerated the uncertainty that came with this, because of Clara's passing. The former governor of Edo State decided to marry Laura Forte, a lovely woman from Cape Verde. In her former role as a hostess with Emirates Airlines, Laura is described by Adams. As being humble and appreciative of the natural spirit of her working environment, an affectionate relationship exists between her and his children, and she is cherished by the entire family. His happiness and love were rediscovered while he was with Laura, Laura Forte a model who was born in Cape Verde and originally worked for a flight attendant, moved into the government mansion as a permanent resident a significant amount of time before the wedding ceremony, their union prompted. Conversations, with some Nigerians assuming that her motivations were financial rather than love, this was observed despite the fact that they were 33 years apart in age. The spectacular wedding ceremony was held at the marriage registry of O'Shea and Sacco Council, which is located in Edo State, this was followed by a lavish celebration at the governor's mansion, which was attended by officials from all across the country, including President Mahumandu Buhari, the vice president, and their spouses. Laura is reportedly a lawyer and a former model, according to reports, they remarried when Adam's first wife, Clara, passed away from cancer, 
This was the beginning of their second marriage. Despite the rigorous demands of his political career, Adams made spending quality time with Laura a top priority, highlighting the significance of fostering the relationships that exist within a marriage. Their public demonstrations of affection, which include images and films, are evidence of the depth of their love for one another. When the rumors of their secret romance before Clara's death spread, people's eyebrows were initially raised, yet, in the end, love emerged victorious. Adams was a passenger in the first-class cabin of Emirates Airline, where Laura worked as a flight attendant. He was charmed by Laura's grace and charm, which he encountered while he was traveling aboard Emirates Airline. Despite the fact that they come from different parts of Africa, Adams, who is now the former governor of Edo State, and Laura have stayed close ever since they tied the knot in May of 2015. Attendees at a number of events were aware of the close relationship that existed between Laura and the governor of the region, their amazing synchrony, which ranged from official appearances to public displays of affection, was highlighted by the fact that they frequently attended events without their respective spouses, while being surrounded by other politicians and businessmen, while they were celebrating their wedding Thanksgiving, the governor expressed his deepest gratitude to his wife, thanking her for her humility and her ability to appreciate the demands of his work. Despite the fact that she was not their biological mother, he acknowledged his appreciation for her role of the caring figure in their household, it was clear that he had a deep admiration for her, which brought out the beauty of their relationship. The wedding ceremony, which was done confidentially with only Immediate family members and close friends in attendance, marked the beginning of a new phase in their lives. In his speech, the governor stressed the value of Laura's role of the matriarch of their household, which brings happiness to their family. The event was graced by luminaries hailing from a variety of political backgrounds, which served as a sign of solidarity and collaboration. The former head of state General Yakubu Bowen, who was also the chairman of the event, underlined them. Significance of genuine love and patience in their relationship on multiple occasions Mr. and Mrs. Forte, the parents of the bride, went all the way from the Netherlands to be present at the wedding, they were accompanied by Agia Ekta Shimoli, the mother of the governor, who was also present from the Netherlands, the presence of their children and grandkids, who shown their love and support, was also there, even though there were comments made regarding the age difference between the bride and Groom, the bride's attractiveness and the groom's handsomeness shone through, highlighting the depth of their bond that goes beyond superficial judgments. Everyone could see the profound love that existed between the governor, who was 61 years old, and his wife, who was nearly half his age at the time of their marriage. Despite the huge age gap between them, their love was clear to everyone. The unique nature of their relationship produced a commotion, attracting the attention of prominent Players in both the economic world and the political sphere, the media was buzzing about their union, there was a lot of speculation on social media after their wedding, the majority of which was not supported by any evidence, nevertheless, a trip to the movie theater together offered the chance to correct some of the erroneous information that had been spread, she is originally from Cape Verde, which is located in West Africa, according to her husband, who dispelled rumors that Laura was born in the Philippines, Ethiopia, or Holland, he stated that she is from Cape Verde during a Thanksgiving service held at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, the governor addressed a number of misconceptions by emphasizing that Laura was not merely a supermodel but rather a lady who was guided by God to follow his path, despite the fact that she was exceptionally beautiful, he emphasized the fact that she was a role model in his heart and expressed the hope that they would be regarded as role. Models by God, Laura stood by her husband throughout their public appearances during the elections in 2015, totally engaged in supporting his political attempts and objectives, she was a strong supporter of his political careers, in spite of the fact that there were rumors of divorce and separation that were spreading on social media at one point, the governor denounced them as spiteful and untrue, calling attention to the strength of their relationship regarding the strength of her marriage to Ashimol, Laura emphasized that she had no cause to leave him and that she had no intention of doing so, Laura was characterized as a woman with a wonderful heart and a profound dedication to serving those who are disadvantaged in society, according to a news release that was distributed by John Mackey, who is the executive director of media and public relations for the Edo state government. A fire broke out on the internet as a result of Ashimol's bright dance talents during his 70th birthday. 
party, these skills demonstrated that he is capable of competing with younger generations, even though he was getting on in years, he danced with vigor and managed to captivate the crowd with his motions, even his young wife was unable to compete with him when it came to his impressive dance moves. Ashimol is a notable Nigerian politician who was born on April 4, 1952. He has previously held the positions of National President of the All Progressive Congress and Executive Governor of Edo. State, Ashimol was born in Nigeria, over the course of more than a decade. The couple has been living together, and their love for one another is so selfless that it is obvious to everyone around them, through the way that they look at each other, many others have been able to see the extent of their love for one another, which is a confirmation of the genuineness of their connection. The story for today may be seen above, if you enjoy it, please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. I will see you again soon.